Okay, what if I told you you could get a master's degree at some of the best universities in the world for only a thousand dollars? Man, people are paying a hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more to get a master's degree in this country. Man, it's just crazy. And see, nobody tells you about your options for this. I mean, if you go into Google and you Google something, okay, pay for a master's degree. Yeah, okay, you're gonna get. 88 million websites, 88 million websites, and they're all mostly you know, for-profit universities trying to sell you their master's degree. You know, that'll cost you 40, 50, 60, 80 thousand dollars or whatever it is here. Uh, or even the articles I read when I did a search like that, they're all just telling you about you know, traditional ways to pay for a master's degree. You know, and it's just not, it's nuts because <laughs> you don't have to. The world is bigger than just the United States. You want a, uh, a master's degree? So many people think, well, God, I, mean, I might as well just go here like everybody else does. But why? You know, you know, teaching knowledge is knowledge. And, and if you get to learn you know, about sociology or law, urban planning, you know, uh, whatever it is, medicine, you know, engineering, technology, all the developed countries have the same. You know? And what's neat, especially in Europe, they're teaching in English only. You get complete degrees. You don't need a language. You don't have to spend you no know, French to get a degree in France from the Sorbonne or some famous university or Germany. You don't have to know German. All the courses are in English and you get a degree. More and more courses in Europe are, are being taught in English because that's the language of the future. I mean, here's a report that you could see uh, from, go to IIE.org. That's the Institute of International Education. English top master programs in Europe. See, they tell you about their growing, you know, supply and what they're doing. All the European countries, there's like 20 some of them now, that are offering courses in English only, not only attract, uh, you know, uh, overseas students, <laughs> but also to make it easier for people within the, uh, the common market or the European Union to go to colleges anywhere because English is becoming a national language, I mean, international language, you know, you know that? I mean, I, I went to, you know, uh, Sai, uh, Shanghai last year, and I was done in Mandarin a couple of years before, and I get this, uh, uh, Shanghai, I go to the coffee shop, and I'm struggling with my five Mandarin words trying to order coffee, and the Chinese guy looks at me and says, hey, speak English, what do you want? <laughs> That's what the world is coming to. And that's what's so neat about us living in America. We already know it. Yeah, these poor other people have to learn it. And so that's why we could use their resources because they're picking up on English too all over the world. Like I didn't need English in, in Shanghai. I mean, Mandarin in Shanghai. And I just spoke English. Everyone does. And, and the world is becoming so small, the opportunities are low. So even if you're going to work back here in the States, you're dealing with all over the world. Also, it gives you a perspective. There's so many great benefits uh, studying overseas, <laughs> you know, that expand the mind, things like that. So there are now 5,000, you know, 581 programs in Europe that speak English. These are master's programs. And look at this chart here, uh, but uh, how they've grown. See, they've grown over the past. Netherlands, just, it's grown, they have like eight, 900 programs right there. Every one of these countries have grown the number of English programs. And this is a couple years out of date, so they're even growing more now. And here's what they say in this report. Most international education experts agree that international student mobility will likely increase dramatically at the master's level. And the development of English taught programs in non-English language countries is an important driver for this. God. The race to develop competitive master programs that are attractive to both European and international audience has made English taught master programs one of the closest watched trends in European higher education. Wow. <laughs> and so that's an opportunity for us. Why is that an opportunity? <laughs> because it's cheap. <laughs> you know, and it, they're cheaper there. Look at the affordability of going into uh, going to college in Europe versus here. 
See, we're just nuts in this country. You know, look at, now this is a list of major countries and the percentage of your annual income that will be spent on college if you go to college. In the United States, 50%. So the average family going to college spends 50% of their income paying tuition and you know expenses for college. Look at Denmark, 2%. That's only 2%, not 50%. Norway, 2%. Sweden, 3% of their income, not 50% like here. Germany, 4% of the income, not 50% like here. I mean, that's crazy, isn't it? Uh, so right now, you know, there's like 304 students you know, U.S. students that are studying, you know, in Europe, and there are 18,920 students getting their master's degree in Europe right now. So you have 18, 19,000 U.S. students figured this out already. Now, this is going to grow. And actually, for undergraduate, it's only 15,000. So there's le you could get an undergraduate degree, too. But there's more people getting graduate degrees. I guess the younger, they're a little afraid to travel or something. That'll change. And even PhDs, 7,000. So this is the most amount of American students over Europe. It, it's because of they're taking master's programs. And see, look at the price. I mean, this is incredible. You know, you know forget UK, that's $9,000. That's still <laughs> a lot cheaper than us, you know, for a master's program. But France, $346 tuition for the whole year. You know, uh, I'm sorry, that, that's the number of programs. Uh, the European, for non-European resident tuition, I screwed up here, it's $300. So the price of going to school in a master's program in France is $300. Man, man, I talked to some kids going to uh, Stanford and it's like $160,000 for two years. <laughs> that's just nuts. $300, you know, that's it. You know, and here, so even if you go, you live there, it'll cost you eight, $9,000. So what the heck? So eight, $9,000, you're in Paris or France or something doing this. Same in Germany, Spain, Switzerland, Netherlands, Belgium. God, why are we so crazy in this country? Yeah, and actually a, a, a young college student from uh, France helped me with all this data for the European market, uh, Zephyr Desos. He worked like hell and got all this data for me to help make sense out of this. Uh, and that's what's neat. But. It, and I want to thank him again for doing this. But here, look at this data too, how crazy we are. I mean, we're one of the top country ripping off college students. Look, we're number three there. Australia is about with us. And then Singapore is, you know, right up there. And the UK is pretty much uh, up there too uh, for university fees. And then it just starts dropping, man, you yeah. know. I mean, France, Malaysia, Indonesia, well, a lot of these are underdeveloped, so maybe not as interesting. But look at, you know, for the developed in Europe, it, it's amazing. Uh, and people just don't know. They don't know their options, so they don't take advantage of, uh, of this. And that's a pity. And a lot of people say, well, we have these myths, I think, too. I found this article about myths about studying, uh, getting a graduate degree overseas. It says U.S. degrees are more valuable. That's a myth. Okay, look what they say in this article. Many international institutions rank higher than U.S. universities in global rankings. Uh, uh, says the student Rachel Hauer of uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, said via email that she considered the University of California at Berkeley, Arizona State University, University of American, and the University of Leibniz in Germany for her master's degree in engineering, but mainly choose a university in the Netherlands because of its global reputation. See, I mean, the world is small. We're doing, we're communicating all over the world and your customers and opportunities are all over. Uh, it doesn't matter, just look at all the foreign people here. It's the same way every, everywhere else. Uh, here's this, this young woman also said by email that the opportunity to integrate her engineering degree with emphasis on entrepreneurship, sustainability, and international travel finalized her decision. Man. Yeah, I mean, that's what's neat. You get so much more out of going to school overseas than you would here. Classes 
are not the same. You think they're the same? No. That's why you're learning new ways to learn. Everything you can learn that, that is different is an opportunity because then it helps you put together pieces of the puzzle differently. We don't know the answers, you know, and that's why it's hard to even ask the questions. So the more you get an expansion of your mind, the easier it, I think, the better you are in being able to solve problems, whether it's this country, the world, or whatever. Uh, also, uh, a myth that the international graduate programs are a huge financial burden. Man, you know, that's nonsense. That's definitely not. They're a fraction. They know that education is important in these countries. They don't turn it over to the private sector or give you free money that you have to pay back from the government forever. Because most people go to graduate school here, then they have to get jobs they hate in order to pay back the money. They can't get married because they got this big student loan. They can't do all these other things because they owe too much money. You know, uh, they're stopping their life. They can't buy a house, can't buy a car. You know, and that's because of this money. So if you go to find these programs, you go to studyineurope.eu slash masters. studyineurope.eu slash masters. And you'll see, look at 22,000 programs. 22,000 programs, yep, uh, on that. I mean, it's a, now here's another portal uh, uh, called mastersportal.eu. Now this is English and non-English. So, but that, that may be helpful to find something. And here, if you got a minute, you may want to look at this video. Um, I have of an interview of a woman who, uh, she graduated from a college in California and she was looking at graduate school. She wanted to do international development work. And she was looking at like Berkeley and things like that. And she figured it's going to cost her over $100,000 in loans to get that degree. Now here she wants to go out and help people in the world. So she's going to think, well, boy, she has to go out and get $100,000 in loans to get this degree. Go. Instead, she went to Kenya. Cost her a total of five thousand dollars a year to go to school. Five thousand dollars. Now Kenya, that's where she wanted to do some work too. So now she she's got a degree some from <laughs> from a country where she wants to work in. Yeah, and it's all in English. The opportunities are just so much greater. Why be another you know kid from the states in a college from the states? Yeah, who knows nothing about the world? Yeah, and plus they're a little stupid because they paid so much money for a degree and they get one $5,000 and be right in the ground floor of where all that stuff is happening. Just same way in Europe, man, you could get degrees in wine, <laughs> sports management, all, all, all these neat things that you never even thought of that they have, you know, anything, graduate degrees, sociology, you know, uh, computer science, engineering, there's nothing. I mean, we're all in the, look at half the products you get are from overseas now. And uh, the world is so small. And even if you don't want to work overseas later, you become more important here because that means you know more about the world and every business, every organization has to know how to deal in the world more this way. And so if you're saving a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> it's stupid not to. I mean, look at the cost of an MBA here. You go to get an MBA in Spain, man, that sounds cool, <laughs> for nine thousand dollars. Look at the cost of MBAs in, in the USA. $160,000, you know, uh, $150,000, $147,000, all these big, man, they get what they get, you know. And the cost of graduate schools or MBA, you know, in 2007, the average tuition was like $32,000. <coughs> Seven years later, it went up to $55,000. Now, if that tuition went up the same as general inflation, that tuition should not have been $55,000. It should have been $37,000. Yeah. But no, it went up to 55. You're paying an extra almost $20,000 or more because the schools could get it. And why can they get it? Because if you go to a graduate school and get accepted, yeah, you could get a loan to pay for it. It doesn't matter what your income is. It doesn't matter anything. They give you money, give me a loan, student loan. Sure, no problem. And then you get that loan from the financial institution. You give it to the college <laughs> because that's what they say they need. And then they have the money. Maybe, maybe not. You get the degree, you graduate. They have your money at the school, <laughs> but you have the debt 
and you got to pay that financial institution off forever, forever, and it stops you from doing things in life. That's crazy. Why not go to Spain <laughs> and have no debt, have more fun, <laughs> and start your life a hell of a lot earlier <laughs> by having a lot more fun? Oh, here's two little more videos you should look. These are young people who, who uh, talk about going to school in Europe and they're really helpful because they, they give you a little more understanding of what life is like over there if you're concerning about how important it is <laughs> and what you're missing <laughs> by just being like everybody else. That's a problem. You become Googleized. If I were you, I would go study in Europe because Firstly, mainly because of the tuition fees, how you can save so much money and still be able to visit your family, still be able to visit your family um, every holiday and you'd still save money on tuition fees. Another reason is because it's traveling and traveling is good. You meet lots of different people, you get to visit places and get to see completely different cultures that you never thought you'd see, yet because people are generally quite accepting, you will feel at home well. You'll feel comfortable here. And you'll just get to have the most amazing experience, probably of your lives, because of the independent and the, 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 the actual movement you have to do to get out of home, to get out of your home continent even, and to make that move, which is quite, quite difficult. But you wouldn't regret it. You definitely wouldn't. None of the American people that came to my university in England um, regretted it. They loved it, in fact. And they came back for holidays. And because of the free movement around Europe, you could go visit so cheaply any city in Europe for a weekend, for, well, not a day. I wouldn't do that for a day. But, I mean, hostels are so cheap. You could just go anywhere. It would be... Great. So yeah, come to Europe. Hello guys. Um, I think that studying in Europe is a great opportunity because first of all, there are world-class universities with really good levels and professors and career opportunities following that. Um, but I think Europe in itself has so many countries that are really interesting that ha all have programs in English that you can study at and you get to discover new countries probably for a portion of the price you would pay if you were studying in the US. Um, some countries are even free. You can also get a free healthcare if you go in a country like the UK or France for example. I did my master's degree in, in London in the UK and I really had a great experience. London is an amazing city. I got the chance to travel within the country meet people from all around the world, um, had a great social life, lots of things to do. Um, and as I said, you can travel in many countries as long as you're in the EU and in the Schengen area, then you don't need a visa, you can go around very easily. And I think, you know, the first universities were in Europe and it has such a huge cultural background and heritage and you can great food and you know very interesting places and i think it's great to discover new place new area oh.